Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I'm gonna talk about what I think makes axolotls some of the coolest salamanders that you can keep in an aquarium. So, an axolotl, or Ambistoma mexicanum, Ambistoma is a mole salamander, and Mexicanum is the axolotls. They're closely related to tiger salamanders, which is Ambistoma tigrinum, and they get very large. I mean, Darwin here is about seven and a half, eight inches right now, and in some cases, they can reach 18 inches. So, that would be that long. But they're more commonly around a foot long. They, uh, they have incredible regenerative properties because they remain neotenic. That means they stay underwater their whole lives, axolotls. But they can regenerate their toes, their legs, their tail, and even parts of their brain and heart, which I think is pretty cool. See his, his gills there. Those are usually present on larval salamanders, and that's what neoteny is. They stay in their larval form. So he's like a perpetual tadpole. They uh, come from a fairly high altitude in Mexico, and that's why they remain neotenic, I think. The, the uh, land around the lakes that they're from are fairly inhospitable, although they are almost extinct in the wild. They, uh, one lake has been drained, I'm thinking for industrial expansion, but I'm not too positive about that. And the other is connected to Mexico City, so because of pollution, the floating islands of plants that they used to breed in and live in are pretty much gone. But they're extensively bred in the pet trade and for science. There's also other color mutations. This is the uh, kind of olive-colored wild type, but they come in a kind of black wild, or grayish, darker color as another wild type. And then there's the leucistic ones, which are pink and red. Well, their gills are fairly bright red, and then their... Uh, body is mostly pink, and then they ha have the golden albinos, which are quite quite a nice orange color. And there's even what they call GFP. I can't remember what the P stands for, but it's a green fluorescent kind of property. And they did that to study gene fate in their regeneration, and they glow bright, bright green under black light. It's really cool. And they, uh, they were at one time the staple diet of the Aztecs, which is kind of interesting. So apparently they're pretty tasty. I wouldn't want to try myself because, you know, I, I just like them too much. But, you know, maybe one day if I just had too many, who knows, maybe try and fry one up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, that's pretty much all I can say about the axolotls today. So you guys have a good one. You got any more questions, shoot down in the comments and I'll probably put it in a new video. Have a good one, guys.